segment of the BTS, BTS vlog. It's still Monday, but uh, it is uh, 14 hours in, well, four, 14 hours into the day of Monday, uh, March uh, 14th, uh, 2016. Yeah, still, it's still uh, Monday, yeah, but it's about, uh, I don't know, 12 hours later. Oh, as I said, I didn't know when I'd be getting up, but uh, I'm up now, and uh, I'm actually just getting out of bed now. I'm going to make an effort to try to uh, vlog a bit more uh, to improve the uh, the vlog here and put a, a more of a variety of content in here. So uh, that's that. <laughs> I, I've already thought of the schedule for today and what's, what's going to be happening. So the, the, this kind of what wakes me up is when, the, when I, I know I'm awake when I start thinking of the mundane, Ugh, I feel like I have enough energy to get up and, and, and do what needs to get done. So, uh, that being said, uh, I have to, on schedule for today, ironically enough, to improve the schedule. Uh, to improve the amount of work that I get done on a regular basis. And hopefully, uh, you know, it will be successful. I wanted to film more, so I'm gonna to try to get a couple, uh, a couple uh, uh, episodes uh, out filmed and out today. We'll see how that works out. Uh, I also have to set up a schedule to uh, bring in some new projects. Uh, these are what happens when you do enough sub projects. You can put them together, these sub projects together, to form another larger project and move on up to something larger and that's what's happened i've done enough sub projects uh the, the, enough sub pro enough sub projects have come to completion they've they've matured enough and been enough has been done on the progress is, is enough that i can now start forming forming them into larger projects so uh this also has to be scheduled into uh the current schedule so in other words the new schedule becomes uh, the new projects plus the new efficiency. So uh, we'll see what ends up happening today. Uh, so I'm going to leave this short here for now. And I will see you mm, uh, probably a little bit after, after breakfast. I'm going to have some, uh, do some fixing up. I've got about an hour worth of fixing up to do. I have some breakfast and then uh, we'll go back to bed. <laughs> then we'll get to work at the at the at the work desk. So I'll see you basically after breakfast at, at the work desk. All right, take it easy and see you then. Welcome back, everybody, to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theorel BTS log. That's right. It, we're still vlogging within the, within the same day. We're still vlogging on Monday. It, it is a uh, tw time and date stamp. It's twenty one hours and twenty eight minutes. Into the day of Monday, March 14th, 2016. And it's been six and a half hours on the research desk here before I finish my uh, one section of the project, which has me doing sourcing of news that comes in. Uh, and it is, it is, it is the observational work of. Uh, watching uh, people on RT, basically the the the, the uh, uh, various different hosts and um, anchor people describe different things, including their guests. And what you do is you take down a couple names. So you, you you take down their names. You take your notes, 
Then after you've done watching this for about six hours, uh, the next step I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out and take a couple names, and I'm going to start connect, do a Google search on them, and start going out and finding extra sources. I do have other sources than, than you know that I go through. But Google is the first one of the first thing because I want to go see if I, if there's other sources uh, beyond what I already have uh, where I can go out and sort of find other uh, bits and pieces of information that might be useful in understanding who these particular people are, what they have said before, uh, what have they been their the sort of their 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 political alliances, and who they've allowed lied themselves and in. Whether or not they've politically aligned themselves with various different groups as their political needs exist. In other words, does someone say something consistently from group to group to group to group? Or are they changing their position based on uh, what advantages that will come to them? In other words, they don't really care about a particular issue. What they care about is getting their own sense of power and they, about their own position. And as they move up in power, are they saying something specific for the camera, or are they saying something specific towards a particular group? Uh, and you can sort of see this as, as these different... Because because the, the internet is what it is, uh, you have sources out there, people who will take videos and post that video without any editing on there. And so you can get one source from the news, which is edited, and from a variety... And, and you, each news channel... Uh, or a news source will edit videos in their own particular way for their own particular interests. And you can see this, you can, this is what I will be showing in Tweet Lines, is how uh, the various different news organizations edit things to their own particular uh, views. And uh, as a, one of the reasons I like RT, RT has actually a wide variety of different uh, uh, political views in terms of what, what the anchors actually say, in terms of the show hosts. And uh, these are some of the things that we'll be bringing out as we go in and try to do some of the sort of the divining or the uh, uh, intelligence analyst work uh, in, on many of the different sources. So uh, the, it, it, it took about six hours, six and a half hours today to go through the initial. And it'll take me another four or five hours to go through the supplemental. So just to get the init initial information in for today... It took about six hours. We'll see how long it lasts, if, if, if that uh, is going to be the initial source for the week, or if there's going to be something more coming in. But uh, I'm going to be spending in the next four hours working on that, and in the next four hours, I also have to work in some other, like, you know, the, the uh, I have to work in some cleaning work. There's some cleaning work that has to be done. Uh, there's uh, I'm doing editing work right now. Uh, there's a number of different things, including uh, uh, organizing my, my notebook. See, the thing is, you're, you're, you're mentally taking notes, you're doing ad hoc notes, but then afterwards you have to start taking, uh, you have to write these notes down, and that's where the talent comes in, so I can start organizing my notes. And then from there you go to the, uh, from the, we call the ad hoc notes, the, your, your initial thoughts. Uh, you go to a more organized thought that will produce a tweet line, which is a maybe, you know, 10, 15 minute organization of thought, so like a paragraph or something. And then you move into the larger, uh, uh, one hour uh, show that are like the headlines and beyond, which is a more organized, a more developed type of thought, and then into the document documentary type of uh, format, which is about two hours, and that's even even further uh, development of the thoughts that you were working on. So uh, that's kind of where we are now, and uh, it's been six six uh, six and a half hours. Uh, all together it is tiring but I still do have enough of a fair bit of work left to go that's not too bad though uh, I will see you in the next segment of the beat uh, beat of Big Bang Theory's BTS vlog I gotta start getting that organized properly that, that thought that this is what this is and then uh, we'll talk more about uh, the developments as they go on. But you know what? I'm on to my third. I'm, I'm getting more and more organized in terms of uploading uh, and editing, editing and uploading. So the editing desk is working. 
Uh, probably this week or next week, I, I look to expand the, the editing desk to do have even more capacity so we can produce more shows. Uh, and then go from there. Anyways, uh, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory RL's uh, BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. Alrighty there, uh, let's try to do some film from, uh, through vlog in various different places in, in my office. Uh, so, I decided to try here. Uh, this is kind of an experiment. Uh, so let me give you the time and date stamp. It's 22 hours and 12 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, March 14th, 2016. And as I said, spending close to 10 hours doing research, uh, going through different sources and taking my notes, I still have to do the mundane. And what I have to do now is wash dishes. And uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna, I, I have to wash dishes before I uh, cook my next meal, my, my dinner. And so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going <laughs> to wash my dishes. Is it, it, everything you do requires, particularly if your, your day is filled, and you don't want to hire a maid, or you can't hire a maid because you just don't have the money for it. I mean, research takes up most of my cash, and so there's nothing, there's nothing left over to hire a maid to come in and clean my place. And so, what I have to do is make sure that when I do clean, that uh, how I clean is uh, very efficient. And ironically enough, it doesn't have to be very expensive in order to clean. In, in efficiency. Uh, I found uh, a nozzle that fits on the edge of the faucet uh, that gives me like a shower head and it cleans you know, with the, with with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the spray the way it's, it it turns the the uh, faucet stream of water into a nice forceful spray that actually cleans as it as it uh, fills up. So uh, it saves me a lot of time in that I don't have to put extra energy into. Um, into cleaning up uh, something that, 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 that would have taken extra time if I didn't have the spray nozzle. And I've actually uh, sort of tested out the, uh, the timeline and sort of the, sort of the time taken to clean one, one item. And noticed that I was able to clean a lot more with the nozzle than I was uh, without the nozzle. So that's what I'm doing now. <sighs> Clearing up the next another batch of dishes. Drying them off with the towel. <laughs> Mund is it mundane work. This is this isn't necessarily rocket science. I don't know if you can see me in here because it's kind of dark. This is one of the mugs they have. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, 40 ounce mug. So let me take you into the kitchen part where I'm going to put it away. So yeah, this is where this is the kitchen now. This is this is where I built my uh, this is where I built my little diner. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do in the diner, but nonetheless, it's going to come along okay. So now I have to uh, clean two other things. Good spoons are often important. Spoons, ladles are often important in a good diner.
I found that in terms of containers to hold everything, one of uh, the useful uh, sort of ways of recycling things is there's an ice cream container uh, from a company called Chapman's. They make a really nice uh, ice cream container. It's big, and it, it can hold uh, utilities like like uh, like spoons and stuff like that. So instead of throwing out the container, I reuse it. And that's how you know. That's how that's how I become efficient. And so instead of spending. hours being inefficient, I spend a few minutes and I'm, I'm, I'm efficient with, with what I do. Reusable airtight containers. One of, the, one of the things I really like a lot is, is the uh, reusable airtight containers. They seem to clean things very. They seem to be able to clean clean very well. They hold food, food and other uh, items as well. That. that So, every little bit helps. not that noisy around here. It's very quiet. There's not much to sort of uh, talk about necessarily. Uh, so I spend most of my day kind of quiet. Do a lot of thinking, that's for sure. Like I'll probably be going till tonight. I probably won't get uh, uh, to bed to sleep till about 2-3 o'clock in the morning. That's kind of my goal right now. But we'll see what ends up actually ends up happening. So you plan things, but uh, they don't always work out. Well, they rarely work as expected. As long as it goes somewhat okay, then that's all right too. So right now it's just Doing the mundane. And that's it for this segment of uh, dishes. <laughs> um, that's it. Just a few minutes. Not even. Uh, let me just see here. Uh, under ten minutes. I got another. Seg I got another segment of dishes done. Now I'm gonna go cook. Uh, well, here we go. Uh, yeah, I talk about this a lot. About talk about the unexpected events and things that, that really throw my schedule off and here we are again and the last time in our last segment uh, I was vlogging in the kitchen I was uh, gonna make myself some dinner uh, that was 
more than six hours ago, and I'll tell you what time it is now. With a time and date stamp. It is six hours and 37 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. Yeah. I'm still at my research. I'm not at the, I'm not at the bed yet. I'm not going to be going to bed for another half hour, 45 minutes. I ended up working on a research project that took me longer than expected. And so now it's uh, just about 6.30 in the morning. I will finally end up getting to bed between 7 and 7.30. And that's going to throw everything off for tomorrow. So we'll see what happens <laughs> tomorrow when I get up. Um, and how wrecked I am the next day, you know, the next day. You know, this, 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 it, this does wreck you. It, 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 one, it throws off your sleep schedule, but two, the it, it really numbs the body and the mind when you push this far into research. But the thing is, it's hard stopping. It's hard stop when you've got a good track and you're finding sources. And these are good sources. And this is but the thing is, if you're trying to define what the truth is about something, if you can only find one source, then you really don't know much about that, 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 that issue. But if you can start finding multiple sources, and I'm here I, for this project, I, I've got six sources and more. I, I, I've got at least uh, between six and ten independent sources that all talk about the same story. So I can corroborate one story with another, so I can know, okay, this guy's talking about this, this is his point of view. I go over to another source, watch that source, or hear that source, and listen for that point of view. And as you start putting these different points of view together, you begin to see what different perspectives are, and you can start to get together a whole picture of what's actually going on. And you can decide for yourself using history and another other, other uh, different uh, techniques, like, you know, research techniques, whether well, as to who is actually telling the truth, who, what side is, you know, being truthful about this, if that's actually what's going on, and uh, that's sort of what was going on here, but it's hard, it's, it's hard stopping. Uh, I got to a point where I can't stop, I cleared off all the resources, all the sources that I had, I did most of my notes. And so now it's uh, uh, on till to, on to tomorrow. So right now I'm just going to end up my day, get some a little bit of work to do here to sort of uh, uh, end everything off, uh, tidy up, and then uh, go to bed. So I don't know whether I'm going to say good night. Probably, I probably may, I might vlog good night uh, when I'm at my bed, but we'll see, end up see what ha what's happening. We'll, we'll have to see what happens because. I am at this point in time. I'm just completely exhausted. This I'm completely wiped out. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for this segment of the BTS vlog, and I will see you in the next segment. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.